Here we are, the Rat and Roller with breaking news. Has Jurassic Park been found in Pueblo, Colorado? To answer that question, here we are with the finder, Mr. Carmel Indiana Jones and his discovery of the century. He has discovered a Velociraptor dinosaur in an embryo egg with igneous rock. Very rare, very rare. Mr. Andy, please give us some history of your findings. Well, first of all, the late Cretaceous is known to be 85 million years ago when the when the Velraptor was around. Okay. And uh, what do you know about its size and weight? It's known to be six foot in in six foot long and 30 to 40 pounds. Wow. What kind of diet does it have? Small mammals and dinosaurs. Yeah, any kind of distinguishing characteristics that you might have? A uh, low tapered head with sharp teeth, claws on the front, and hind feet with possible primitive feathers. Show us a picture of it. You got a here picture go, of sir. it? Here we go, sir. Yes, I do. Show I got many picture. of pictures right here. This is my first way of discovering the situation. I got the, the dinosaur where it took me a month to get it to focus. I'm a person that I do sculptures in in bushes and it takes a person to see an image like that. I've got the gentleman right there sitting in there, the Velraptor. Wow. And, and the way for me to identify him, I put a photo of identifying where the teeth, eyes, every every structural picture where I thought the gentleman was at in there. And it come down to be that that's where he is. And uh, I also- can, we, can I hold that picture up again? Can you zoom in a little bit on that and see that? The details that he has there? And from looking at it, it looks like we have here its neck structure. You can see its eyes, the, the sharp teeth. You can see its hind feet. It's four foot, its hind foot. Its tail. Its tail, its vertebrae. Very interesting. And Very I got some colored ones. This is what they're saying. The, 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 it's a bell raptor of this right here, three foot tall reptile. And I even got some better pictures where the, the geologist, uh, He's a major in science, the one that's taking care of this for me, had sent me some pictures to say it does not have to be. It is the Valraptor. You can see clearly as day the structures of the legs coming down with the other part coming in. You can see his eye. You can see his teeth. You can see the whole visual structure of the reptile where there is, it is in the object. Very rare for the Ingus rock to be formed in if it's got to have the original Impression of the objects where you could clearly see the original impression Also, and just to let you know igneous rock is very rare for dinosaurs to be found And when they are they are normally in a mold shape and with the mold shape They have a perfect impression and what he has here. Mr. Indy does have a perfect impression of a Velociraptor dinosaur which was I went to CSU in Pueblo and many of scientists that were majors and uh, chemists and everybody that I took to, to to see if I was not seeing things said they clearly could see what I am seeing. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to see it. I know it's an embryo in a shell which is an uh, inch in diameter which it says that in books that reptile eggs come an inch in diameter, it breeds through the breathing holes. That's what caused this. The calcium carburates seeped into the holes and formation in the, uh, the flesh and it became the car car the carburates that made it mammatized. Also, I have a better view of another picture that was taken way before the real ones came to show it's identic. Also, I have one of the eggs that I had discovered. Two of the eggs that they also had <clears throat> said that there is some kind of living structure that lived in there at one time. I am just uh, amazed at what my discovery was. I had found it digging in a two-foot area, which they said on the northeast of Pueblo, it was, uh, all, we were all in water, where they said about top of there, the, the, the creature buried his eggs in sand, which they said that's where the right spot where I was to be digging was a good spot. So they said that's the spot that they wanted uh, to see if I could let them know, but I'm not interested in letting them know. I want to get the discovery out there to the real before the gentleman I have, he's wanted me to put this in the uh, auction without getting a paleontologist to authenticate it just because he's a major science and works for the American Appraiser Association. Doesn't give me to say put my thing on for 1500 and it goes for 3000 which this is a 57 million year old dinosaur is rare and I am not going with that. I need a help. If you guys could please help me. You see the details. It is a real Velociraptor. There you have it, folks. What an amazing find. For non-believers, Indiana Jones really does exist.
And there he is again. <coughs> you can clearly see it. That's a smaller one, and I got the bigger one right here. You can clearly see every detail of the situation, the egg structure inside with the sand. This thing was fossilized 57 million years in the ground, and 15 BC came where the volcanic came from Trinidad and formed the Ingus rock around it. We might believe that it was spurts of lava that was landing on the, the shores of the, the sand. That's why Ignis Rock is formed in there. It was unusual. Anyone with resources that can help authenticate Andy's findings, please contact 719-778-9774 and ask for Andy. I appreciate Thank you. It. Thank you.